Okay. So our question is, how do the rules of exponents allow us to multiply and divide polynomials or monomials? So the first thing I want to look at, guys, I'm going to show you the first one, which is multiplying. So if we want to multiply exponents, um, what we're going to do is the rule tells us when you have two exponents with this, or I'm sorry, two variables with exponents, and they have the exact same base, you're going to, all you simply need to do is multiply the exponents. So some of you might say, all right, well, that's a rule, but why do we need to follow that rule? Or why does that rule make sense? So let me give you a quick little example so that you guys can understand it. Let's say I have 3 squared times 3 cubed. Okay? Now let's go and take a look at that and see exactly what that is. Remember, 3 squared, by the definition of an exponent, means 3 times 3. Right? And 3 cubed means 3 times 3 times 3. Correct? So what about, instead of writing like this, what if I just wrote it as this? This is 3 times 3, and this means multiply, right? 3 times 3 times 3. Does that make sense what I did? Then, by using the definition of exponents, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals what? 15. 3 to the... Remember, what is this? How many times am I multiplying 3 by itself? Five. 5 times. What does my rule of exponents tell me to do when I have the same base and I'm multiplying, multiplying the numbers with exponents? What do you do? Add the exponents. What is 2 plus 3? Does everybody see why that works, or why it can work for us? Okay, so that's how you do the uh, the rule of exponents for multiplying. 